Our Jim, thank you so much for your time so early. Is what do you make of this sell-off when you hear Eccentric going from forty dollars to one penny? You have P and G, Procter and Gamble falling and having in just a few minutes of trade. Wish I'd been smart enough to buy it in one cent. It's obviously a mistake um, in the in the electronics somewhere. The market's overdue for a sell-off. We've discussed this before. You know, the market went straight up for over a year, and that markets are supposed to correct. This is, I presume, the normal correction, whether it's caused by currency turmoil or the English election or who knows what. It's time for a sell-off, and we're having it. Yeah, but do you think this is driven by panic here, Jim? What's going on? I mean, we have concerns over uh, from Greece and the debt crisis happening in the eurozone. Well, as, as I've said to you several times on Bloomberg, where 2010 and 2011 will be years of currency turmoil and currency, maybe even chaos in some cases. And yes, the, we've got to do something about the, the currency markets. They are a mess. We have huge imbalances in the world. Uh, I'm not the only person who knows it. The market ignored it for a year or so and went straight up, but now it's time to correct. But, Susan, whether this is, I, I don't see panic right now. I mean, being down three or three, three or four percent is a big, big number, uh, but that's hardly panic, not yet. We may have panic yeah. today or tomorrow, but, but today is not panic. It's just a big correction. Yeah, Jim, when you say correction, I mean, we're looking at a 3% drop. Yeah, you say it's not big, but then some people are saying this is just only the beginning. I mean, uh, we're, we're hearing bears calling 400 for the S&P 500. What do you think? Well, I, I have no idea. I'm not smart enough. You can watch Bloomberg and find out how far down it will go. You guys, you guys have people here every day who can tell you what's going to happen. I, I'm been selling short for the first time in 18 months. As you know, I've been selling short here in the last month or two. Uh, not in any big way, but thank goodness, thank goodness I have some shorts uh, because the market's overdue. Now, how far down it will go, I don't know. Whether it's going to go down 10% or 20% during this correction, I haven't the foggiest idea. I'll just watch as it goes along. And then, you know, every week, every day, I'll try to make some kind of decision. Yeah, and Jim, when people can compare this uh, Greek debt crisis to what we ha saw happen during the financial crisis with Lehman's going under, uh, do you think that's a fair comparison? Is that the sort of selling that we're seeing once again take hold on the markets? Well, yes, if Greece is going to be allowed to go bankrupt, and I think that would be a good thing for Greece and for the euro and for the market, we will certainly have a period of great instability um, because then people will be worried about several other countries, including the U.K. and the U.S., but uh, so far, they haven't decided to let Greece go bankrupt. But the uncertainty, of course, always in general, the markets don't like uncertainty. Markets like to know what's going on, even if it's bad. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you about safe havens right now, Jim, because people are trying to run to safety. I mean, if they're getting into gold, you like gold. I mean, at these levels, 1,200, is it still worth buying into? Well, I, if, if people want to run to precious metals, I think silver is probably better. I own both silver and gold. It's just that. Gold is making all-time highs in some currencies, as you know, and I don't like to buy anything making all-time highs. Silver is still very depressed. Um, the yen, the U.S. dollar, people are running to. Uh, I own I own both, as you know. Uh, commodities, commodities are getting whacked right now. But if the, if this means we're going to have more serious economic problems, then I assure you, governments are going to print a lot more money. And if that's the case, your refuge will be uh, sound, uh, hard assets. Jim, 20 seconds here. I got to go, but uh, what, can you sum it all up for me? If an investor said to you, what should I do? What do you do? Be very careful and cut back if you have any doubt because the market is overdue for a correction and we will have more currency turmoil in 2010 and 2011. Okay, Jim, thank you so much for your time this morning. That's Jim Rogers, the uh, famed investor and chairman of Rogers Holdings. We're